Hello everyone, this is what we're going to build. We're going to build the bottom plate to the animatronic, and this is upside down. It's just better to put it together this way. And as once again, it's positioned on the very bottom. This is the jaw, mouth, lips. So basically what we need to do is we need to put two servos in the very bottom. So if you look at it from upside down, this one here, the mechanism for the servo, the movement, as you see here, is down. And then the other servo that you see that's on the right, its uh, turning mechanism is aiming forward towards the bow, as you see here. And you can go ahead and you screw these in place and use those uh, nylon nuts. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the jaw and we're going to go ahead and get some things ready just to show you the jaw here and how I have everything, you know, designed here is where the servo movement mechanism is down and this plate here is where the teeth go. I've removed them. Actually, the teeth is probably one of the last things you do because I have a bite and my teeth are accurate to the bite. So... We'll add them later. But uh, as you see here, I got the, the movement of the servo located at the bottom. But we're going to work on this when it's upside down later. But you see the linkage. And I wanted to show you how I have this linkage set up so you can visually see how this lays. And as you see, there's two holes on the end of that piece of linkage, printed linkage there, that connects to the servo horn. Now... All the linkages are using two millimeter screws, and that's just to get the movement. But as far as like the jaw screws are three millimeter screws, and then and then some of the rods are there's one rod that is a, a two millimeter rod. But as you see here, we're going to just line it up, and we're going to connect it to the socket where the jaw uh, hinge is. So we just lay it in place and we use these. These are three millimeter screws, which are, they are 16 millimeters length, but we're gonna go in from the inside of the print and then connecting that to the outside. And we'll repeat the same thing on the other side. But the other side is kind of tricky. And it's cause you have to like position it like from this end where you lift the whole thing up and you place it inside here from the top. And then you can either use a screwdriver if you need to, to tighten it. And also connect these with the three millimeter uh, uh, lock nuts. Now it would be good if you use some of these, uh, what they call nut drivers and get a metric version of that, that would really help you on uh, putting this thing together. I have some, but uh, once again, I've misplaced them. <laughs> but anyway, now what we're going to do is we're going to put the, the lip mechanism for the jaw. And this has a three millimeter screw rod. So this is what we're going to use. And as you see here, this is the so-called lip movement for the jaw and how I have this so-called linkage connected on this tab here and then it goes to the servo arm. Now the servo arm is connected with a two millimeter screw but the servo arm is uh, the linkage is in the center which is the third hole that needs to be drilled out so you can place that two millimeter screw. This is the design part of the in SketchUp. I'll build it in here just to give you an, another version visually to see it. I just set this so-called uh, mouth movement inside the jaw, insert the rod, which is 58 millimeters, and I'll cap it with the nylon nuts. It's, it's a quite simple process. Just thread it straight through and then add your nuts. Now, I'll show you the way I was doing it. 
just to demonstrate this. Now you see how I have the linkage set up. And then I'll just take this where the jaw is already in place and just insert it into the socket. And I'll take that 58 millimeter uh, rod length that is three millimeters and I'll just thread it through. I insert this three millimeter rod in a length 58 millimeters and uh, go ahead and you can add your lock nuts to it but uh, it just takes a little time to thread it in there and uh, sometimes I have to pre-drill my holes because I got a cheap printer at this time but, uh, but as you see here the mechanisms moving fluid and then I'll just go ahead and connect it there to the servo and just make sure your servos are centered and that means where you you just turn them on with nothing connected to it and they'll auto center now I'm going to connect this jaw um, linkage to its servo which if you look at it that servo there is on the left there and position of the servo arm is at the like a, a 11 o'clock position if you look at it this way now it's connected to the servo on the servo horn on the top hole now we're going to start doing the lip mechanism for the upper the upper lip now this is kind of the tedious part because it's better to have all the linkages connected and you're going to have to thread through two movements and as you see here i just wanted to kind of give you a visual look on how the linkage is set up on each of these uh, lip movements and how the so-called linkages is laid on these movements the servo horn on this fork uh, lip it has a third hole that is drilled out for the two millimeter screw so it's kind of like in the position of the, the middle of the servo horn there's only like three movements there's a jaw movement bottom lip and the fork lip the middle lip is going to be connected later it goes through and is threaded through the whole two parts we'll show that later this is why I'm moving in here because this is not going to be connected yet what setting this this part up right here is just kind of tedious it's just like when I'm doing this myself and trying to film it it's somewhat kind of difficult because I have to see but yet the camera has to see and this camera man it 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 tends to get out of focus sometimes but anyway Here's these tabs that we're going to be connecting the two movements to. And you'll see here, here's the, the same two tabs physically. And this is what's going to be threading through the two movements. As you see here, I'm just going to add this fork lip in there first. And if sometimes you might have to get it started before you put the center uh, movement in. But once again, it's kind of a tedious place just to get this to be inserted correctly. And it's just a little patience and you just thread them straight through with a uh, two millimeter rod. As you see here, I'm just going to put the fork lip in there first and get it started. And then I'm going to insert the center lip. My visual angle in the camera is just kind of because the camera is in front of me. But I'll just insert this rod and just get it started. And then I can go ahead and insert uh, the center lip. And after I get it inserted and threaded, I'll just add those nylon nuts. And this is the complete of the bottom plate. And then we'll add this so-called uh, uh, U-bracket that goes to the gimbal later. Now I just kind of put this together also. This is it complete and this is just a complete visual. So I just dropped this this uh, jaw in place, placed the three millimeter screws and their nuts and then just insert them into the hole and then you just do the other side too. Just repeat that process. 
and then you see the linkages here for the center lip and I'll just drag it in place insert the three millimeter rod and then I'll place its nuts in their position and then as far as the lip mechanism for the upper lip I'll just simply just put these things together here these two mechanisms the fork lip and the center lip move the uh, center lips uh, linkage out of the way and then I'll just place it in its so-called socket area and then I'll insert a two millimeter rod in its place the two millimeter rod that I'm inserting here that is 39 millimeters now you could probably go 38 but you know you can do 39 but as far as in, then add the cap nuts or lock nuts to it but look I hope this helps I mean uh, it, it's a quite uh, challenging thing to put it together but you know later on in my channel I hope to have even something more advanced than this I hope this helps later